Richard Carlton here. Welcome to another awesome day with BioMaker Training. I'm here with this guy right here. That is Christian Schmidt. So before we let Christian Schmidt go, let's do our initial announcements. One, two, three. There you go. He's gone. All right. Uh, upcoming broadcast schedule. If you go to fmtraining.tv, you can see the upcoming broadcast schedule. Uh, Thursday, we got Nick Hunter. We'll be back for a couple days connecting the dots. I don't know what that means, um, but Nick apparently does. And then we got static uh, versus dynamic value list with Calvin. There's an interesting conversation. I'm assuming it's more of a beginner kind of conversation. That'll be uh, Monday, uh, 228. And then uh, I'll be in the air that day. And then Tuesday, 3-1, I'll be broadcasting from Dallas, Texas. That'll be interesting. So hopefully you won't notice anything except my background will be somewhat uh, different. So we're going to be talking about special operators. Special operators in the FileMaker platform, right? You know, as a reminder... This is fmtrain.tv. Every day at this time slot, we are broadcasting in high definition on Twitch, YouTube, and Discord. We are continuing to chase and remediate internet challenges on the YouTube and Twitch side. Uh, hopefully, it's better. So if you go to the FileMaker courses, you can see all the courses we have right here. We don't sell the course anymore. This is a live stream. It's not, frankly... It's good stuff, but the courses teach you co coherent specifics from beginning to intermediate to advanced in the FileMaker platform. Uh, if you want to support the channel, support us, keep the lights on. We highly recommend that you purchase uh, one of the bundles. The complete bundle gets you everything. It's really a good deal. So I highly recommend if you want to um, uh, support us. Uh, I'm not asking for anything for free. I'm not saying go to Patreon and give me free money. I'm saying give me money. I'm going to give you high value. Uh, you get a ton of stuff in this bundle. Today, what are we talking about? Let me, let me, let me like bring the traction. Oh, there he goes. Hey, there, maybe, there he goes. Oh, there he goes. There's Christian Schmidt, who is the monkey bread plugin creator. Fantastic guy. He, uh, he here all the time because he's solving problems in the FileMaker platform that we can't easily solve any other way. Limitations. So last time we were here, we did continuity camera and I had no idea what he was talking about. It blew my mind it blew my mind so today what are we doing today and will it blow my mind so today we take a look on a few more things like uh, uh, scanning uh, the AV recorder functions for the webcam and maybe also the window photo acquire functions okay good we may not do everything today maybe some tomorrow we'll see okay cool and so make sure I you assume... speak up. Make sure you speak up as loud as possible because I can't push your audio up any more than I already have. I'm sure. Yeah. Okay. So there we go. let me be a little bit more louder and share my screen where I got a Windows copy running already. Okay. Great. I'm going to move the little box out of the way. There it goes. Welcome to Christian. So, and uh, we have a blog article here. So people can see the things we are doing, like we can scan a webcam. Can you copy camera. and paste this real quick into Slack for me or something? Yeah, already done. You already did it. Oh, <laughs> oh, there it is. Okay, Margaret, I'm gonna let's cross post that. Great. All right. Okay, so uh, let's launch FileMaker here, and uh, also the debug viewer. This is my little uh, Windows copy for the training here and um, you can tell which one should we do first so we can talk to a scanner we can talk to the webcam or we can talk to a digital cam and I brought uh, one from what is it from Canon and we will live code on this database uh, database live stream FMP12 on the server from Richard Richard's consulting company <laughs> yep and uh, the password is fewer, fewer, where you can then uh, use the database, but you can't modify the scripts. So um, this is uh, my debug fee. Oh, well, this is debug fee utility from Microsoft to see log messages from the plugin, which may be helpful to debug. And I'm waiting for FileMaker to launch. No one has said any opinions on uh, which one they want to see first. So maybe do scanner uh, then, yeah. because you had we struggled can with that buy one the so scanner, much. Yeah. Okay. On the documentation page, I go to the rear functions, and we'll see all the rear functions. And the first one we'll add is here initialize. So we will initialize this and this means that the plugin will actually start to load uh, the VIA libraries 
and then uh, look for devices. So, this is still, I did double click it. Did I? So, David, Angel, real quick. Uh, so, you guys are getting into the file, right? So, it's that file that's the path, right? And it's viewer, viewer, right? Yeah, yeah, it is. So, I can do uh, a little bit scripting on, on Mac. Okay, so what are we doing? Make sure you walk through and let people so know. So we, we start doing. with our uh, startup script for VIA. So VIA startup, things we do. Usually when you would go to the layout, you may want to initialize this once. So that's it. Um, so we got this script and let's just look. Oh yeah, yeah. Windows loaded something. So what are we doing? Okay. Tell us what we're doing. So, we're going we're gonna to talk um, to the scanner. Yeah, we are talking to the scanner. The first thing I will do is enable our debug logging okay. for the plugin because I don't want to run blind. So this is the MBS trace function. Okay. And when you run this, it will write log messages to the debug view application. And you see here a log entry that the script called trace is running. And there's an MBS call with one parameter. And the first parameter is the function name. And the result is OK. So I turned on the debug logging. OK. And if you need the debug view app, you can just Google from it. There's a Microsoft website where you can download it. And now I run the VS startup script. And we see uh, it's calling via initialize. And those calls here with is megas that are uh, conditions we have on the layout from last time we, we are on the stream. So via initialize is getting an OK. So next step is uh, we may want to pick a device. So we, we can um, technically do it with dialog or with other dialog. So you can actually list the devices, like I could just try the functions, but we will use the dialog later. So let's go to the data viewer. And the data viewer is always great to just execute something. And I can just paste it here, and it will tell me there's one device uh, installed. And let's go back to the functions, and there is a uh, Let's say here, property value. And we just get the name of the first device. So right. copy it, copy, paste, yeah. So index zero, query the name. And I got an Epson scanner here, the all-in-one printer scanner box. OK, cool. So you can. Query the list of the devices. You can pick one in code if you like, like you can write a script, or we will write the dialog. So let's go again back to the browser and we go to the function with the dialog here. And there we have a script, and let's just type this. So I can show you this. Uh, let's make the script on the Mac. So you can have one database hosted and you can connect to it from a Mac and a Windows PC and do edits on both. That's no problem usually. Say we are pick device. So I can say uh, if uh, uh, set variable. So we call the MBS function there. So MBS question mark. Oh, um, Code. So via is the name of the component, and you see our new, very nice, mm. um, our new autocomplete. So device type, oh, what device type? Yeah, usually I would expect a scanner, yeah. So we want a scanner. So device type is scanner. So, and we get a result. Uh, we could check the result, and it may be either OK or an error message. Okay. So let me just, I'll just copy this here. Doesn't 
Doesn't look bad. Um, if, um, yeah, we have our MBS is our function. And um, else, so if it's an error, like there could be a message telling us that there are no scanners or the yeah, it's not available because you run it on a Mac. <laughs> so, um, failed to open device picker. So, copy success. Uh, we may not need a message in that case. So, uh, get current device would tell me the ID of the current device, which well, the developer may want to see, but the normal user, user we would comment that out. So, if I run this um, on a Mac, I get uh, error. This function is not available for Macos because we have different functions for, for Macos. So, we go to the Windows machine and we can run this script. Uh, there is a dialog to pick to pick the device. Oh, nice! So this is a standard Windows dialog, and when you get a um, scanner installed with a driver for Windows, so you can use it in all the applications like Paint. Then you can also use it here. If you just get uh, a scanning app from your um, device vendor. Uh, to scan on this specific scanner and they don't install also a driver for all the other applications, mm. then it will be missing. Got so it. I can say, okay, it connects and it tells me that it connected to a driver, which got a... So your, fir your first line of code there was just to connect and have it specify it. If you run that line of code, will is it going to remember this going forward or... Uh... Um, no. Um, this is to show the dialogue. Okay. Uh, we then can query the device ID. Uh -huh. We can store this ID in a global, no, mm. not a global, but in a preference table. Yes, okay. And then you can just call set current device and pass in the got same it. ID got from it, got the field. It. So you spawn the so, dialog and then we have to select it. Then then you haven't saved that device ID, so you're going to do that now, I guess? Uh, I don't need to here. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, because... Uh, so, so the user can select a, uh, a scanner, mm -hmm. and next thing is we want to get a picture from the scanner. So let's take a look. How do we do that? So we have um, an image dialog function with a few flags. So let's take. So we have a typo there. Yeah. Um, system and the vendor supplied, yeah, and we can provide a path where scans should go, and there's a file name as a template, and here's an example script. And I think we may just use a couple of those lines to do something similar, step by step. Okay. So let's, well, let's go to Mac. I mean, that's your choice, uh, which uh, script workspace you like more. So let's make our real, let's say, um, image dialog script. So first we need to a place where we can store the pictures uh, for temporary files. We could use either the FileMaker function to get a temporary file pass or to use a plugin function. But because we need a native pass, we will use this function here. So we have our MBS function. Uh, user temporary, which basically could do the same as if you would ask FileMaker for a path and then convert it to uh, uh, from a FileMaker path to a native path. But I just take this here, or maybe just I take. We just take the temporary path. So this is my folder. Now I got the folder, and next thing I is I may want to show the dialog. So maybe not a directory, just put in a temp. So 
So this shows the image dialog. Default options are uh, uses my folder and a prefix for the scanner for the image files, like it will be scan one dot gpeg or something, scan two dot gpeg, scan three dot gpeg. And we will import those into uh, FileMaker later. So I can already run this. So there's a script here. And it should show the dialog. Yeah, that is. So this is a standard uh, scanning dialog for Windows. Let's make, see if it works. So we don't have any script yet to actually take the pictures, so <laughs> scanning doesn't <laughs> make much sense. Much sense. Uh, I hope it works. Uh, we can also scan. Uh, so I, I just put a picture there. So this is a, this is a, a flatbed scanner. Is what this is. It's an all-in-one, yeah. but it has a flatbed. So you put you open the 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 the, the top and you put that. Yeah, flatbed. Yeah. Okay. Flatbed. Uh, we can also do feeders mm. to feed new documents, mm. and you can do this by script mm. or by uh, by dialog. So I know a few people love to go by dialog. Uh, without dialog, so there's a via scan yeah, that, function where you that, just that tell it uh, that would be scan me, yeah. flatbed, scan feeder. So hey. You may want to set a few options here, like uh, this document handling select uh, property Microsoft has allows you a couple of options, and one, for example, is duplex, so you get two pictures per page, and then feeder, and then let it scan. So if people go to uh, this database, they can already uh, play with the scripts and pick a device or pick the image dialog. So it would be curious to see if, if someone on the on the live chat uh, actually um, is in the database and uh, you're on and you're in yeah. Windows and you have a scanner attached to your computer, right? NJ, yeah. I think you have Windows, right? You are David Angel. You should test it out. Well, if they have so, a scanner uh, attached, right? So oh, that's true. So, okay, let's say if um, dollar R, well, is not, oh, let's just okay, open this. So, if this is not okay, so it may be an error, or it may be just cancel. So, so I could say, um, if it's okay, we would... Uh, do something, but if it's not okay, we just exit the script here. So uh, this is comment failed or cancelled. So you can check if the value of, of the variable is actually the text cancel, if you like. So now we we got a scan. So we may may want to ask for how many pictures do we have? So let's say dollar count is MBS. Uh, we are, uh, let's take a look. It's Windows, and I have to type blind. So it's here image count. I hope this is not confusing that I switch between uh, scripts and dialogues. No, that's fine. Okay. Um, I think so, it's... okay. But now I go to back to the Mac, um, where you see our update right away. So FileMaker is fantastic for this. So, and I can just insert a for loop, because that can be handy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Is that like a pre <laughs> to stop? What did you just do? Yeah, we had that in a previous stream. Yeah, yeah. but I but I don't I don't see every little minute. So you just you've had pre canned bits of so code in, in here. Yeah. So in a previous stream, we had this little thing where we uh, can add yes entries to the context menu and put in snippets. Okay. Are do these snippets also... come with it, or do we have to set up our own snippets? Uh. Well, you have a sample database with a couple of snippets. And okay. actually, we, we did this uh, for Windows 2 in, in one of the streams. Okay. Like uh, here, there was a snippets for Windows database. Mm. I'm grabbing links. 
So uh, snippets for Windows, okay. And then you yeah, can... so uh, that's uh, if so you, you like, install uh, the snippets onto your current plugin on your current computer, right? That kind of thing. Yeah. Okay. Cool. I thought it was pretty so, cool. Sorry, I mean, I had missed that uh, part of the conversation. I was probably stuck doing that something. That was else. one of the live streams that I was running, actually. Oh, that I out. wasn't there. Okay. okay. So we are now on Windows. I installed the hotkey, and let me see if I can press it. There it is. So this is a hotkey for our uh, picker for the templates. And I think we have here a loop with counter, and I can press select. And there. Yep, there you go. Nice. There is uh, uh, different. Snippet. Rick Fosnett okay. had a question that does this can the scanner be on the network or does it have to be like connected via USB? Right. Yeah, this scanner I'm using is on the network and the huh? next room. Next room. Uh, and then so. real quick, another question, real quick. We got well, David had kind of a question about Wea. He's asking if it's an interface or API for scanners. Uh, he thinks it's Windows only, but uh, does it work for Mac and Windows? That's what uh, the blog post was about. So I made this blog post uh, here. Okay. So we have on Mac, we have image capture functions, and okay. on Windows, now here, image capture for scanner, and we have via for Okay. Windows, and we also have the old terrain functions, if you still have that. Okay. Uh, and we stands for Windows Image Acquisition API, which means yeah. it's Windows only. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but if there's an equivalent on the image capture on the Mac side, then you can, you know, you have to code it. If you're going to support both, you're going to code it twice, but, you know. It's yeah, possible. Yeah, you can still get it, yeah? Mm. So, let's take a look on our uh, function. So, we have this uh, via image function, and so here we have uh, so we have a loop count one and so let's ask for the image uh, set variable and this is MBS uh, via dot image that is. And dollar index. So it's one based, correct? No, it's zero based. Uh, this is always a question. Zero based. Yeah, we run into that even in FileMaker. Some things start at zero, some things start at one. Hell, that's even yeah. the certification test. Okay, so we start at zero, so we have to end before we get to count. And we pass the index there, we get. Uh, we exit if we are greater equal count. If this is wrong, we will just miss the last picture and notice. Okay. So, you know, this one by one is, is very often uh, the case. So, we got a picture. Let's uh, make a new record in our database. Mm. Uh, let's commit on the end, of course, uh, without dialog. Um, so we get the image, but we get a pass. So let me let me name this pass. So now we have to to read it. So we have an image. Uh, so this would be a container. Oh, and we go to this dialog to get the read uh, read file. Our path is a image pass. And let's see mode, uh, well, leave empty. I leave empty, I use the default. So this will read the file into memory and um, because it has a file extension, will automatically do things like the preview. Automatic so things may, like what? Automatic things? Uh, like if you if you load a picture into FileMaker, uh, the container doesn't just have uh, the actual picture; it right. has also information for FileMaker, yeah, the metadata, the, size the metadata, yeah, and, and maybe also a preview. So I can actually preview, take a look. preview, preview. I did not understand the word you said. Okay, preview. Yeah. Got it. All right. Sorry. So let me just show you. Uh, we have this. Uh, uh, what is it? Uh, container get type. A type function where I can look into the container mm -hmm. 
uh, get types. This one here, yeah, get types. So without an X. So this item here contains a JPEG picture. It contains a size information and a file name for information. Uh, file name, okay. If this would be a PDF document, for example, it may have a JPEG as a preview. So a non-interactive container can show the picture. So we got this. Uh, so we can just try it here. Yeah. So go back to Windows. There's our script. Um, so let's run it. Have uh, here our lock ready. So I just say scan and Oh, it's going, and then that yeah, it's little making light a noise. You, you don't hear it because it's in the next it's room. It's in the other so. room. All right, got it. I'll help you with noise. Okay. okay, there we go. <laughs> so, where's my record? Unable to, not able to install the uh, the plugin, David Angel. Uh, yeah, we covered that. Uh, on the continuity it camera thing. It should still be available in the actual file itself, the automatic install. Yeah. Mm. So I made a new record and I put in the image and I don't see it, but we see the plugin did read a, a container and we got a scan picture. I just don't... Oh, yeah, of course. Oh. Nobody noticed, but... Yeah, I was wondering if you're actually going to set it anywhere, right? Yeah, so, okay, that's sorry. I was... Uh, so target okay. field is uh, image. Yep. Calculate result. So I will do. I will have to do the work again. So okay. let's make a set field there for the description and put in the file name. Uh, all the metadata. Yeah. Oh, uh, well, you don't. Yeah, there you go. You don't want to overwrite that. I'll just say here, yeah, this and is a VSP, uh... so we can see it later. Oh, okay. The file name isn't really interesting. Okay. It's just scans GP. Yeah, I, I before you run it, before you run it. Well, yeah. um, can you pop pop over here real quick and show people where they can go to the install? Oh yeah, the plugin installation. Yeah, yeah there's so... a simple reason. There is no plugin. <laughs> What the hell? Okay, well, that would be... I removed it uh, because we wanted to share the file with people. Uh, yeah, but you uh, give your plugin away for free, right? So... Yeah. Well, I can just drop in a new plugin here. Man, you're just causing all sorts of problems, Christian. So, and I can do that while it's scanning, so... Oh, well, we could do two, a twofer. Let's do twofer. <laughs> So this is the Mac version, and the people need the Windows version, so I can just drop it here. And this may take a while, but on the other side, on the, you can already see the scan. So we got the picture in there. Running both at the same time. Yeah, that's fantastic. I mean, people can do their own scans if they like. And do we have any questions so far? No, I did. I, Peter did say he had a scanner, so Peter, let me know how scanning goes, or let us know how scanning goes. Uh. Okay, the plugin is now here for the Windows people, and uh, let me also get a copy there for all the Mac people. Oh, he did it, record 15. It said He said it worked like a charm. Yeah, please take a look on the picture before we show it on the stream. <laughs> 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 yes, please. <laughs> Let me uh, pull the. Uh, sorry, 18. 18, apparently. Um. So I'm waiting for the Mac plugin to upload. May take a while. Oh, I can just risk it. Hey, we got another picture. Looks like a fair. Okay. Um, <laughs> so, do we have any questions so far? Not at the moment. So. so oh, I can put people up picked uh, here. 
So let's uh, let's make a little layout here. So um, so this is continue p not continue camera continue this uh, for macOS. So this is the first buttons, and then uh, let's make a button below. Uh, we are for Windows to scan. So here, first thing. Where's my dialog to edit? What's going on? Okay, uh, pick a different script. So we take uh, the pick device here and say pick device. So, and. Um, As a side note, record 18 is nothing inflammatory at all. It's a very nice picture. Wonderful. So let's go here and check. I think we have an H initialized function or not. Well, I think it doesn't hurt if we call it again. Huh? Oh, it's automatic, so we don't need it. <laughs> so we have pick device and we have scan image, the second script. Exit layout. <laughs> it's not aligned, but so let's take a look here. So success, I can. How are we doing, yeah. Margaret? Good. We are. So um, I just made a few buttons here. So pick okay. device. Uh, yeah, works. Okay. And scan image. Still works. Okay. So we are done with um, the, is the scanner here? Or nope. Nope. I, I, want to, I want to press a button, and I don't want it to ask me any questions. I want it just to do it. Yeah, I, I just got the message that this button is not working because it's, it's for Mac. And uh, so let me just hide it on Windows. And also here I can say, this. <laughs> okay. So we hide the buttons when you don't need them. Okay, great. So let's see. So this is a few on Windows, and here we are, Nick. <laughs> okay, great. Can we can we scan without the dialog? That would be really great. Yes, of course. Of course. So let's I like go. when you say of course. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> let's make. Let's make Richard happy. So the first thing I will do hey, is I'm I, will a split. Hey, I, I am just simulating a demanding customer. Let's pretend I'm a customer. <laughs> I want it my way, so. and I don't give it. I want it my way. It's just the way it is. I'm the customer. Okay. So I'm simulating a grumpy. So customer. I'm I'm copying. Uh, uh, thanks. So we put this in a new script because we can use this again. So just import all the pending pictures. And here I put in a perform script. So if you write scripts, all your scripts should be short and every script should do one thing. Um, because if things get too complicated, you will have difficulties to maintain it. So not in the menu. No, uh, other way around. So we have a script to import images. This one, yeah. And we got one with dialog. And I will just duplicate that. And so the new function is uh, scan here. And I will say flat, flat. 
but I think you have to put in the, the name of the unit you want to talk to, yeah, flatbed or feeder. Okay. There's also a function to ask what the scanner can do. Okay. Because the demanding customers may want to have a button for. Yeah. So, um, I mean, I want to press a button and I don't want it to ask me a hundred questions, right? If I want to do that, I'll just use some piece of software that, you know, constantly asks me questions. Are you sure you want to do that? Are you really sure? <laughs> that was the part with continuity camera was so amazing. It didn't ask me 12 questions about, are you trust this phone? Do you, is this phone authorized, right? It didn't, it just did it. It just worked. <laughs> okay. So uh, let's try, let's run this script. And here on our log, we see the function got called and your scanner is probably working, I hope. Okay. And you see, we got a picture, and it's uploading the picture because the plugin did read the picture, but now Formic has to make a commit. And send the picture all over the Atlantic to some place in California. Your scanner sucks. <laughs> So are we supposed to get another record? Is that what we got? Did it work? What are we doing here? Yeah, oh. when it's working, it should show 23 and show us a new picture. So I'm waiting. It broke. I think there are a couple of people just uploading pictures to your server because we're getting new records. Really? I see it here on the, on the uh, Mac side. I see we have 24 already. Ah, so it's chewing on multiple scannings. Uh, yeah, or I'm people so are... sorry. <laughs> no, that's fine. People I'd just be happy phones. if they're all safe for work pictures because we haven't vetted all. We've been stuff. checking them. So Labo four hundred four <laughs> or uh, David Angel are our known problem children. Be like. Well, so far, I think only Peter Geen has put in a picture, and it was a very uh, appropriate. It was very appropriate. <laughs> yes, I mean there wasn't any. Uh... Yeah, no, it's like a book. content. Yes, it's a carousel, I think. So it finished, and it's you have other <laughs> <laughs> Peter Keynes goes, I got other pictures. You like that bad boy? Uh. So. <laughs> so I got a new version of my um, uh, MBS logo there. Okay. Yeah, we we can see if people have questions. We can maybe change a few settings. Or we can go to a different topic or move that. Well, you to the got next two day. days here, but I want to make sure we. Uh, this is good. So stuff. we can. Uh, so we can set here things like resolutions. All right, Margaret, you have to take over. I'm getting lightning and thunder here. Stand by. <laughs> okay. We can uh, set a rotation. We can define the intent, which can define whether it should be color or gray. We can uh, say whether we want to have duplex support. What would duplex look like? Would that be like two pictures yeah, of the you get, same uh, container two, or two Yeah, you get two pictures. One is from the first page and one from the back page. Oh, okay. So front and back. So uh, some scanners can remove blank pages automatically. So if you're doing duplex, you have a lot of white back pages, usually, if the document is not in the duplex. That would be cool. Uh, yeah, and uh, we have here the properties function, which I can now use to get the uh, properties we use here. So data viewer. Uh, Why wouldn't it find a feeder? So it used to work. That's confusing. Let's take a look on the device properties. So I can just tell me, give me the properties of the first device. And here I, I got the JSON, and I can take a look on what this thing can do. And then I can ask for the, the items. 
So I'll list items. This should tell me for the current device what it has. Oh yeah, I asked for the feeder. This device has no feeder, but it has flatbed and auto. Okay, so you can and ask for I think, auto? Yeah, I think the auto thing may just uh, pick whatever it, it likes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, so this was a scan function. No, it would scan. I wanted the function to ask for the settings here. I, this one. So I just made another scan. So, okay. So auto is available, and it has those settings here. And we also have the flat bat. And here you see the settings for my uh, flatbed. Uh, so it's currently set to here you know, 8 bits per channel, 24 bits total, uh, RGB, color space. Nice. So let you know what you're actually dealing with. And, uh, and you see the paper size. And you can change all those settings if you like. Which so is see. an impressive list. Uh, yeah, usually we, we ask this, um, the scanner what, what properties it has, so we see what's available for this device. Uh, some scanners have some uh, vendor-specific properties, and other don't have all the properties that uh, Microsoft defines, so it depends. Uh, NJ has kind of an interesting comment. Ultimate workflow. If it could scan, then analyze the document. If it's an invoice, put it in the invoices file and put all the data into field. That would be amazing. Difficult, but amazing. Um, yeah. Difficult, yeah. By the way, so uh, usually things we do is uh, we have uh, some OCR functions here. So you can actually ask the plugin to uh, put the picture into the OCR and then ask the OCR for the text. Once you have the text, you can put it in a field and have something for full text search. Like it would probably find here the MBS developer conference. Um, then once you have the text, uh, you will probably go with regular expressions and take a look on it. I mean, besides you could also do machine learning stuff, but uh, I think uh, something like this here may be just useful to get an invoice ID. Thank you. So I'm looking for it. This one, this one was it. So. Uh, we can have a regular expression which just looks like something like a number and followed by some white space or double colon and then some numbers. And we use that in some cases to get the invoice numbers automatically. Or you can just look if the if the text you get back cont contains something like the company numbers or company names you're looking for. Like you, you may have uh, invoices from different vendors and you may have seen the type of invoice before so you could uh, define that the invoice from uh, whatever your your phone bill would have certain words on it so you could say if the scan document contains this word like the company name and um, some specific information which is always on this invoice you could say it contains this three words so it will be one of the phone bills. Uh, well, there you go, NJ. That's where you yeah. want to start if you want to set that up, because that's uh, awesome is what that is. Uh, yeah, I've seen people doing it. Um, you may get uh, quite a long list for to define all the text that should be on the invoice for different vendors. But if you do that over time, all software update, yeah. So any other questions? This is pretty good stuff. I don't know if you really want to start a new topic right now. Or we pick it up tomorrow. What do you want to do? Or do you want to lay the we groundwork? We can do tomorrow. Okay. We can continue tomorrow um, here with uh, maybe with the webcam. Yep. And maybe also good. with the digital camera. Um, so we just, uh, yeah, because there's a lot of neat stuff here. A lot of neat stuff. 
Um, the webcam, a lot of people have webcams. So that would be good to use. Um, all right. So once again, I want to say thank you to Christian Schmidt for making a great product. If you don't have this product, folks, go buy it. I mean, I know a lot of you want to play with this, but it's great. But it's worth the, It's a minimal amount of money. And if you're doing anything important in FileMaker where you're talking to external tech, um, it's a mandatory. It's mandatory, as Nick would say, that you have this. It's really good stuff. So, um, anyway, uh, David Angel, thanks, Christian. Right on. Any other questions? Oh, we do kind of have one related back in the past, in past history, mm -hmm. um, about the Windows snippet. Um, I think, and during that video, we discussed making. There was a twelve point one. Uh, he wanted, he said, uh, Alpha Lima said he found the 12.1 preview link is the updated snippet file included with it. Yes. Okay, so there you go. Uh, AL, the updated snippet file is in the 12.1 preview link. So on, on our blog, you find here the FileMaker, MBS FileMaker plugin 12.1 PS4. So uh, with PR a means pre release things. for you. Okay, got it. Yeah. Okay, so. All right. It's basically a better. Version. Yeah, look at look at look at all this stuff. This is great. <laughs> this is what I did in one week. <laughs> one week. Oh my god. Plus documentation. All right. Well, I, I, I think we ought to just buy you know, it's one of the things that Claris, you know, Claris could buy a license of this. I mean what would it I I don't even know. I mean what would it take for Claris to license this to the entire world? That would be interesting. Um, that might not be a bad. That would probably be a good uh, thing. They would people would bitch and whine about it, but it would. Uh, if they wrote you a check for a million bucks, one million even, would they? Would you get? Would you settle for a uh, worldwide license for say two years or something, or three years or something? Right. There's uh, probably something possible, but. Um... Uh, enough to be independent and uh, yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. It would be a people. license. They wouldn't take it over. They would just license it for distribution, and it would be like a standard install thing. So, yeah, well, maybe with a barrel of money, I don't know. Yeah, well, I mean, it depends. Uh, I mean, because then you wouldn't sell any more after that, right? It would be kind of this thing. Yeah, it would. Uh, whatever they pay would have to cover the the lost the, sales. Yeah. Your 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 sales for three years or something. And they would probably have to provide a couple of people to do support for it because. Uh, oh, you wouldn't be able to handle that, yeah. Yeah, but once yeah. once you give it to thousands of people, I mean, FileMaker has over a million users uh, on a subscription, as I say. <laughs> No. Yeah, that would be interesting. Yeah, so they would have to. They, there would be the base license, and then there would be tech support. Jesse Barnum says it's his number one cost is why making plugins, and then he's changed his licensing on that. But these tech support costs are an absolute killer for him. So, all right, well, we're going to cut you folks loose. Uh, we are going to get Jesse okay. Barnum back. I like Nick. I like Christian Schmidt to come here because when he does stuff like this, every time it blows our mind. At the end of tomorrow, what we're going to do is we're going to pull the file off again and give everyone this uh, updated live stream file, the FileMaker file mm -hmm. over here. Um, I still have to bolt continuity camera into some software I have on my end, um, but it's uh, but it's a good. And, uh... good if you look on the on the documentation and you find here the, the a function we use today, you will see on the bottom there's a list of examples in the database uh, uh, examples coming with a plugin, and there are the sample scripts we more or less uh, wrote today. Wow! Oh, here's the one uh, version with dialog, so you okay. can actually have a progress dialog when it scans without a dialog. Mm. Yeah, and, NJ uh, says you're a machine. That's high praise because NJ is a pretty motivated guy. Yeah. No, so it's... people can get the, uh, this example file uh, with a plugin, or they can just uh, download it here uh, as a single file. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, that's it for now. Um, good job. Good job, Christian Schmidt. We'll catch everyone tomorrow. Make sure you bring your questions tomorrow. We're going to be doing day two of scanning. Mostly with a focus on Windows, but if along the way we hit a Mac thing on the webcam, that might be cool too. So, Yeah, well, the webcam code will work on Mac too. Okay, cool. All right. Excellent day. All right, everyone. Appreciate it. Have a good day. See you.
individual up here who uh, may be a FileMaker license. Uh, well, it's potentially expired. Look at the back of that car right there. Looks like the FileMaker license has expired. Sir, I need you to step out of the vehicle. Sir, sir, step out of the vehicle. Sir, 